Hi there. In this video, we're going to do a little button autopsy on this um, antique vintage silk covered button. The silk is shattered. There's nothing really to save. So we're going to look inside and see what it's all about. So let's get started. So here I have two very plain, simple covered buttons. They have been covered in silk fabric, which is now shattered, sadly. Um, they've also been covered the, in two layers, at least, certainly. The top layer is the one that is shattered on um, both of the buttons, as actual fact. Now, when you have a fine fabric covering with at least two layers, it just helps to stop the sort of effect of the wood or whatever else is the mold from actually showing through. Um, that's both color and any irregularities, um, particularly if you have a wooden mold. So I'm going to take these apart so we can see whether or not it is a wooden mold. I'm quite sure that it is in these, but every once in a while, you know, if you haven't got anything sort of special on the button that you want to salvage, no special embroidery or anything like that, sometimes when you take them apart, you'll find a little treasure, some other pretty button underneath. So we'll do some measuring first before we start. So what we're looking at is something, let's see, it is about five eighths get this back into focus. So it's about five eighths. So round about 16 millimeters. And coming round if you are four lines, which is the traditional button measure, we're looking at 26 lines. In uh, button collecting terms, it's right there at the middle of the, the spectrum. Um, not a diminutive. Okay, so as I said, a very ordinary button. The fabric has been gathered using a matching thread and then just basically gathered up at the back of the button. No particularly special treatment on either of them. Nothing here to sort of say that um, there's any sort of fancy treatment at the back as you occasionally see. Everybody always expects buttons to be really, really finished at the back. And honestly, it wasn't going to be seen. They weren't really that worried about it. So let's start taking these apart. I'll just snip the uh, initial threads first, the stitch threads. just so that we can see the construction. If possible, you see, I like to snip the threads if I'm doing something like this so that I can see the shape that the that was originally cut um, and whether they did bother to cut a circle or whether it's a rounded square or whether it was not worried about at all. Um, and I think that's quite that can be quite interesting. Now you see, as soon as I've done that and I've tried to pull that thread, that silk has just completely shattered straight across the line, which I knew being so fragile that it had a chance of happening. So we won't be taking that fully apart. So here we are. Now this is really interesting because there is either thread or it actually looks like fabric has been pushed up inside of this hole and that will be to hide the hole. So let's zoom in on this and take a look. Because from a construction point of view, this is really interesting. So it looks as though a piece of fabric has been placed in and pushed in to the hole. So I'm gonna push this back down, see if we can get it out in a little bit of one piece. Yeah, that's what it is. 
So let's see if I can get that in focus for you. How interesting is that? And that's been pushed through and it's been pushed through because obviously this is a big hole. And so that silk, that hole, just lay your silk over the top of it. You're going to see that it's going to look like a black dot. And so the person who covered this was very clever and they decided to put a little bit, shove a little bit of that silk fabric because it's nice and fine silk fabric into that hole to just disguise that really brilliant and you can just see on the other one that's what's giving this impression now I think with two layers of the silk over the top I mean to be fair there may have been more than two there may have been three or four I'll have to see if I can actually take apart the back to find out more but isn't that interesting and that is a great way of showing it. So let's take a little look here, see if we can, I suspect this is all just gonna shatter on me as I try to ease this apart. Because this silk really does just wanna give and break into a million pieces. And of course that's what happens with silk, which is why you have to be so careful with it when you have garments and so on with this fine silk. Let's see. Take apart a few more of these stitches. I do think it might possibly be more than two layers. No. I'm afraid that it's just shattering as soon as I touch it. So that's really not going to be the best one to check. What might be a better idea is to see if I can snip straight across on this one. And see if I can see what the layers are along this underside. So there's one. I do think there's actually only two. I do think there's actually only two. I'm going to leave that one intact for a bit. Just so that I have the comparison of the two. Um, take a photo of both of them and then see where we go from there. So I found that really interesting. I don't know about you. You have to be a bit of a button geek, but um, that really was something for me, something new that I learned and I hadn't even thought about doing. Thanks very much for watching. Please hit subscribe, click like and share, leave your comments. I'd love to hear from you. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.